Hello guys, 99 overall here and today we are back with the MOBO series and this is episode 3 against the Carolina Panthers. So let's get right into it. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. This guy was a secondary's worst nightmare last week. He had a huge game catching the football in that win. If he's able to do even close to that same amount of damage in this one, they should be looking at another victory for sure. It's the Vikings going up against the Panthers. With that, let's get up to Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. It's hard to believe this place first opened 20 years ago in 1996. Bank of America Stadium, that's where we're at in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Minnesota Vikings and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. The loser's their last timeout, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to... Now, first and 10, backed on our goal line. We are sending it kind of deep to Mobo, but it does get deflected. And, uh, yeah, now, also, I just wanted to say sorry for not uploading this series enough because I don't get all the time in the world to record this and edit it and all that. So when I do get around to it, I try to do it as fast as possible to get it out to you guys and stuff like that. So, and then in last episode um, for the MOBO series, you guys wanted me to talk about, like, real-life NFL news, stuff like that, while you guys watch the MOBO series. So I think that should be pretty uh exciting or fun to talk about and stuff like that and then you guys can comment in the comments uh what uh you think about it i don't know something like that and uh yeah so in this game basically mobo does go off he gets a lot of yards uh maybe uh we can get him to the nfl like receiving leaders something like that um now the reason why I have him like a starting player and I try to pass him the ball more times and all that is for him to stay on the roster because if he doesn't do so good and he stays like in the lower 60s or any 60s at all, he could be cut. So just trying to make his overall uh, higher, maybe to like 70 something uh, so that way he can actually stay on the roster. So uh, yeah, free agency has been really, really uh, weird lately uh, in real life NFL news and stuff. So, yeah, the Vikings signed Latavius Murray. Uh, I always want to say DeMarco Murray, but that would be, uh, that'd be kind of weird, actually. So, yeah, we're not doing so hot in free agency for the Vikings. Uh, a lot of teams aren't, but we, the Vikings, lost uh, more players people than any other team we lost like 19 people not 19 like 12 actually yeah we lost like 12 people in free agency so yeah here i don't know what bradford was doing or actually not bradford uh, but mobo didn't even look like he stood there and then didn't even turn around but whatever we'll have to raise his awareness and stuff like that so yeah how is your team doing in free agency let me know in the comments below uh, what your team is and how they're doing in free agency. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers are, or maybe a couple are, uh, Vikings fans. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to see you guys in the comments. You guys are always fun to talk to and stuff like that. I mean, anybody is, but since I'm, like, a Vikings fan and you guys are, it gets more fun, I guess. We could talk about more related stuff, but whatever, whatever. I mean, if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, we can still talk. I probably won't be like as interested like i'll be interested to talk and stuff like that but not as interested like with vikings and all that so yeah maybe the vikings can go into the super bowl as a home team i don't know for sure i mean we'd still have to get some more defensive players for uh the vikings because we lost one key defensive player in captain munerlin so Hopefully we can find another corner in free agency or through the draft. I heard Mackenzie Alexander, uh, the rookie from last year, is going to be the starting nickel. So that's going to be kind of uh, iffy to see. I hope he turns out like Trey Waynes did. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else, dudes. I don't know. Oh, also, I'm thinking about starting a new series on this channel. All right, It's another franchise series. 
All right, I'll have to like do this one and the new one if you guys want. Uh, it's about R.J. Shelton. If you guys are a Michigan State uh, football fan, uh, you guys might have heard of him. He's from my, uh, not hometown, but the town that I live in right now, Beaver Dam. Uh, he's from there, and he's going to enter the NFL as an undrafted free agent, I think. So hopefully... Uh, maybe the Vikings could sign him. I don't know. We need some more wide receiver depth. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Lions have been actually talking about him. Hope I, I don't care which team he goes to except the Browns. Uh, the Browns he should not go to. But, um, yeah, he, he plays for Michigan State. Um, yeah, you guys can look him up. Uh, he's, I, he's pretty good. Pretty good. He's a wide receiver. And, uh, yeah, so, um, anything else, uh, around the NFL, um, not really, not really, I mean, I'm just gonna check on my phone real quick while I, guys, while I talk to you guys, and you guys can see the stats on screen of mobile, uh, from, uh, the Packers game, uh, last week, and, uh, yeah, here mobile goes off, like, that's like, what, 50 yards? Just kidding. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Here, Mobo shows off his strength. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, we can upgrade him to, like, a 70-something. Because I want him to stay on the roster. I mean, it'd be kind of dumb for him not to, you know. So, uh, yeah. Also, they found Tom Brady's jersey, which is kind of nice, I guess. I mean, it, they found it in um, what, what uh, Mexico couldn't think of the country but okay i'm just reading this now packers have some interest in bringing adrian peterson for a visit oh boy oh boy okay that's kind of weird i hope he fumbles on the packers to be honest um <laughs> all right so yeah also uh, not nfl related but if you guys know rbt uh, he's a 100k subscriber youtuber but here hold on hold on we fumble here on the onside kick. But I don't think that they do anything with this. Do they? And uh, they get a touchdown. No, three points. Here, we pick it up. All right. So, yeah, uh, with RBT, he's a 100K YouTuber, uh, subscriber, yeah, guy, whatever. Uh, I might be doing a collab with him. Uh, so look for that on the channel sooner than later. Um, I haven't recorded it yet. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, oh, I've talked about this game of mobile for like 10% of this whole video. But, let's get back into it. I wouldn't be a really good NFL commentator, would I? Eh, no. Yeah, but that, that is the game. It uh, looks like I had enough time to talk about what I wanted to talk about and stuff. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Comment down below uh, about anything i don't care um except bad stuff i don't know so yeah i'll see you guys later remember be your best it's an ideal start as they move to three and oh now on the young season and they'll return home next week to take on the new york giants meanwhile for carolina they'll fall to one and two and they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to atlanta for a matchup with the falcons So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gaud. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time.